Wolf Fire. Okay. I didn't turn it closer. Closer? Oh, wow. Everyone. I've got bright Dinah. Is it like off screen? No. What's off screen? I feel like our image is. You feel like we're like shifted. No, it's, this is no right because you got the. I think I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> We are so early today, There's but we're late. <laughs> we're by ourselves. There's one person, Tiny. Yeah, one person watching. Hello. Hello. Hello, that one person. Happy <laughs> Halloween. Are you shocked? Are you shocked that we're early? We're shocked. We shocked ourselves. Marion. Is it Marion that's on? I just <laughs> Meryl. It's, it's Meryl, Meryl that's on. Hello, hello. Ma Marion, check your um Instagram messages. Happy Halloween, everyone. We have a treat for you. Woo. <laughs> We're here. We're here early. That's the treat. That's the treat, exactly. <laughs> you can go home and feed the mouths. Places. Oh, my goodness. Laura is here. Is she Laura caught on? us live. See, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> How sweet you. it is. I wanted to show you this time. Bring my husband. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well on this Halloween. Anyone dressed up? Trick or treating. Hello from Vancouver, Canada. Hello, hello. Oh, you just answered. Okay, good. <clears throat> I'll check that after. What? Sure, go ahead. Purchase a la carte. Thank you. What are you talking about? I'm talking directly to Marion. She's like personal shopping today. <laughs> You're so funny. Uh, sorry, everyone. Now, where would my messages be? I don't understand that. Emily did a group message this morning. Did she text the pictures? But I saw it on my watch. I saw it on my watch, but I didn't see it on my phone. How could that possibly be? Where would she have sent them? Their costumes? The kids' costumes? But where could it be? No, that's not what I mean. Places to go. Mouths to feed. <laughs> right? People to see. Trick or treat is to give candy to. Yes, exactly. Okay. Happy Monday, everyone. I'm Dinah. You can find we haven't done this in a while. I'm Dinah. <laughs> you can find me at the Knitting Place on Instagram, Ravelry, and Facebook. I am Pam or Pam Sap on Instagram and Ravelry, and Pam Sapienza on Facebook. There you go. There you go. Speaking of Facebook, yeah. Just a, a, a quick message to those of you who have signed up for our knit along. I think if you can't find the Letho group, you might need to follow the Knitting Place first on Facebook, and then you'd be you'd have easier access to finding the, the group. Um, yes. I know there's some people that couldn't find it. Some people that could find it. I don't know. But anyway, we're, we're getting everybody on, so that's what counts. Marion, I think I have one skein, but I'll check for two. So just purchase one. <clears throat> Your sweaters complement each other. Well, this was the closest thing I had to orange. Speaking of what we're wearing. <laughs> and this is definitely orange. Spicy orange. Why don't this you is my start, Pam? North Fork from um, Santa Scone. No, it's not from Santa Scone. It's what you knitted in. I use Ticklina from Santa Scone, but it's a, the pattern is called North Fork. It's on Ravelry, and the link is below. I can't remember the name of the gal who designed it. Okay. Um, same person who did the portage sweater. I know that, but I can't remember her name. Melissa Shas. Yeah, it's a long name. Yes. Like a, yeah. So anyway. I but, always think of. Yeah, the link is below. Question. Is that like from. <laughs> it's also on my project page on Ravelry. And um, I did modify it. I kind of made up my own short rows on the bottom. But um, that's fine. It's a great color for yeah, you. You look yeah. fabulous in color. Right. Good. I'm wearing the Anchor Summer Shirt. It's designed by Petite Knit. I also knit it in Santa Scarn. However, I used Santa Scarn Lena, which was the first base. I thought it was first one. Was yeah. it first? Yeah. Now, and then I used the Tick Lena, which is the thicker Lena. It's, it's a big like sister. Three stitches to the inch in that area, three and a half. Three and a half, maybe four, mm -hmm. depending on the. Hello from New Mexico. Wow. Ooh. Yay. Who's that? Krista, what oh, are you nice. doing down there? Wait, actually, you live there. I'm thinking Mexico. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> thinking Yay. We hit you at the right time. Anyway, um, that's what I'm wearing. That's what Diana's wearing. What do you have on that, girls? Are we jumping right in? Well, let's chat a, bit. chat a little bit. What do you have to chat about? The chaos this morning on Instagram. 
Oh, what what was I see I haven't been on Instagram. I, I woke didn't up this see morning. It. I didn't see it. <clears throat> the first post I woke up to was I lost a hundred viewers. I don't know what happened on Instagram. Yeah. And so I got curious and I went on. I was actually posting, that's what I was doing, my inspiration Monday for trick or treat. And I wanted well, Tracy's to post on. Hi, Tracy. I wanted hi Tracy. How are you? Um yeah, that's the deal with it. I don't know what the deal is with Instagram. They said there was some uh, snafu that what was happening is people were being um, taken off the app. They were being suspended or something. And that was causing people's um, followers because if they take them off, the, their whole thing disappears. And I guess. But why what, were people dropping followers? No, they weren't. No, no, no. It wasn't People that. lost followers. They did. That's because people... We're, we're being, I don't know what the right word is here. I'll tell you, I have it right here. It's in my photos because I sent it to you, right? Did yes. you see what I sent you? Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it to you because I'm not going to explain it correctly. Give me one second. I can't talk now. I, <laughs> I also got going. blocked on Instagram. Oh, my goodness. So th I think they're having an internal problem, Instagram. Um, I would just be patient. I'm just going on my merry way. I was able to post, but it was interesting when I tried to post that we were going live early today. I couldn't do anything fancy on my story mm -hmm. other than just plain text. And I got the ghosts on, which was fun. Yeah. But it, it said this, some users. So it said they're aware that some people are having at issues accessing their Instagram accounts. And it right. said, uh, we're looking into it and apologize for the inconvenience. Some users still able to get onto the platform have reported seeing large drops in their following numbers as the suspended accounts. Their right, accounts, some suspended. accounts are being suspended. You know, just there's some glitch somewhere. And that's their suspension is taking, I guess, all the people that they're following. So the whole account is disappearing. So it's affecting your followers. Oh, is what it is. that's what's they're happening. They're not doing anything necessarily it's, to your right. account the people who are just people willy nilly are being are suspended being i mean from, you could say you're lucky that we're not being suspended i mean don't say anything well if it does happen we're it still happens. here yep. you can email so, us i mean i don't really that's I look what at they the numbers saying. but i really don't get that well that you were aware of because it. the people were um uh, commenting to you on, you on yes, Instagram. Yes, definitely. You wouldn't necessarily it was, no, see that. It was so. just the messages that were coming yeah. in. Yeah. So I was lucky that I was able to post. And if I don't post, clearly there's a problem. And, no big deal. Yeah, that's basically it. Right. What else? I was away this weekend. <laughs> you went, went to, to Rhode visit Island, Zach right? again. But it was nice. We went to visit with um, Jake, Danielle, and Isaac and Roche. Or Jake oh, and nice, Roche, nice, and Isaac nice, and Danielle. Nice, nice. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. Family weekend. We missed oh, Sophie good. tremendously. Oh, well, let's see if that happens sometimes. We walked our tails off. I mm -hmm. think we put over 10,000 steps each day. Wow. Which was lot. crazy. And That's it was actually lot. good. We went up for one night, which was fun. We slept over. Mm -hmm. uh, Danielle and Isaac slept in uh, Zach's apartment. Oh, that's nice. And uh, we got a hotel. And mm -hmm. it was actually nice to stay up there. I've never stayed up there. I'm usually going for the day. Yeah, so yeah, it was yeah. nice. It's nice up there. It's a good time of year to go up there. Yes. Excuse he me. I'm really putting happy. the AC on because I'm oh. hot right now. You having a hot flash? Yes, I'm hot. So that was nice. A family day. I, I have to tell you that. Sure. Uh, I will say that, I don't know, this week I got caught up. I was telling Pam I did not have a good, um, I guess, knitting week. I didn't get to do all that I had hoped. I always have all these little like small milestones, especially with all my whoops right now. But I found that this week was a taxing yeah, week. It was not a good knitting week. I think with our knit along, uh, just getting ironing out last minute things, I think it was difficult because we also had, at least I should say, I had struggled with some of my vendors shipping out yarn. So that has been tricky. We're trying to get all our letho participants. Right. Uh, in sync with the Facebook group. And it always happens. Just, there's always a bunch a of stuff going on yeah. at one time. So when there's a lot of, I guess, housekeeping to do, my mm -hmm. knitting goes on the way. Yeah, well, I I, I had, telling Diana I had the same thing. As a matter of fact, I said it was the same thing this week. You know, one step forward, two steps back. I took out Audrey's sweater. I know I mentioned in the past that um, she knit a sweater, a fingering weight, you know, long sleeve sweater. She did the whole sweater, but the last sleeve, she gave me the sleeve probably six months ago to knit. And so I, I knew, I said, listen, she could be wearing it now. So I said, I'm going to work a little at a time. 
and I'll get the sleeve done, which I did last week. We had a Zoom. I was knitting it during the Zoom knit night. Mm -hmm. And when I took it out on Saturday to finish it up, I realized I had somehow gotten onto a two needle and I had knit maybe this much of the sleeve on a two needle. Okay. How many of you can knit <laughs> instead during of a Zoom? Five. Instead of a five. Instead I'm of a five. Notorious <laughs> for not being able to knit. I think I just need to pay attention to like who's on screen, the conversation. Right. I get right. no knitting done. Right. And right. if I do, I need to rip back. Yeah. Somehow. So, so again, here I was, I ripped back. I ripped back and so I did finish that. That is an FO, but it's not a sh it's it's not my FO. So it's finished it's Audrey's sweater. You should have brought it. <laughs> Make Audrey proud. Yeah. So anyway, so I wanted to get it done because I'll be seeing her this weekend. So I wanted to get that done for us. So I did that. And I really didn't do, you know, I did swatching for the knit along. I did that. Well, we'll show them in a minute. Yeah, I did that. But I really didn't knit too much else, which is a shame. We have people from all over, California, Maine, New Mexico, my goodness, Canada, Vancouver. This is awesome. Thank you for joining. Um, I have two FOs. I guess we should get them out. Uh, one is the Lara hat. I finally someone recommended on the last week's um, podcast that Diana used that pattern. She was looking for patterns that use Malabrigo Rasta. Yes, because she's making some hats for her daughter and her friends who go to University of Michigan that are in the gold and blue. Oh, that's the Lara hat. Yes. So I didn't put the pom pom on yet. It looks good, right? Mm -hmm. How nice. fun is that? I'm trying. This was the first one. That's oh, cute. how cute is that? It's very cute. It'd be a nice warm hat. I've got to make myself a Rasta hat for outside. It's cool. I think it was Kimberly who recommended that one. Very nice. Now I'm going to do the is it the twisted candy cane. Oh, yeah, And then yeah, these yeah, are yeah. just my this favorite beanie. Pretty. That was the, I didn't type that up yet. I like People are one. asking. I do like this one. I think this would be the one that I would make. Although They're I will fun. say this one. Feels heavier on your head. I words. think it's because of that quilted stitch. It feels like if you really want a warm hat, <laughs> this is the one. I asked Sophie <laughs> if I could get away with knitting just four of them. She said no. We're up to oh, nine. Oh, she did. <laughs> nine hats, guys. I've only done three, and I didn't even cast on the fourth. So oh those my are my hat. Late to the party, but happy to see you. Happy to see you, too. Um, this so is what are you going to do? Are you going to re- copy those patterns so one of them i have to type up someone had asked for no it. no i know but you have to make nine hats You've oh no I, I would like to make them all different i'll do a vermonter i think i was thinking of doing that like still a only blue. takes you to four the twisted candy cane Five. or something lotus six, six. and guys please leave some comments <laughs> let me know what other rasta hats she has three more hats yes. <laughs> it's not so bad there are plenty there really are so many rasta hat patterns this i know is small but this is my new design. You know it's small. I think so. I want you to try it on. Okay, I've got the hat head. <laughs> I know it fits me, but well, I'm Dinah afraid. has a small head. That's yeah. the issue. Not that she I'm going to knit the next all tight. The That's next one, one repeat bigger. What do you think? What I would do is I would keep this one, and then I'd make one larger. Right, for a one larger repeat head. exactly. So, but now know sizes. that my head is is about is average twenty one and a half, twenty one and three quarter circumference. That's average. You know, I can get on it just feel I put a, it a on little me. tight, a little a little tighter, but it's I like my hats tight, so that depth doesn't bother is good. Me. Um, yeah, the depth is fine. Yeah, depth is good. Yeah, let me show you how it fits me. I think it's looser in the circumference on me. Oh yeah, but you have a twenty inch head. Yeah, see how it goes on. So so she has a twenty. She's got a small head. So this is knit in Clinton Hill cashmere, two skeins, one you spoke DK. Yes, the DK one. I do need a name for it. I started researching triangles because that's pretty much the motif here. You see the triangles? And interestingly, mm -hmm. the shape can tend to go like towards the meaning of equilibrium, mm -hmm. balance. So help me out, guys, because I do need a name. I'm thinking with my new hours and like the work-life balance, I thought it was interesting that... It's called balance. Balance? Balancing act... I don't know. I'm Balancing not that creative. <laughs> I know. I'm terrible. With I'm names. terrible. But terrible you guys are amazing. Names. So please so leave a comment. So she used two skeins of Clinton Hill cashmere. We need a name. Leave a comment. 
And we need some. And oh, you want a tester? So do you want testers? Oh yes, I, I would love. Say, there was something else you wanted. <laughs> I would love testers, but I think I'm going to be more selective this time. I would really like. Um, you, you know, know what you important? should do. You know what you should do. What? You should put up um, on the thing, like a a Google Doc, make a document that just has basics in there. Like look, maybe maybe you want a nice picture taken when it's done. Maybe Definitely you want nice them picture. to be able to to go on the link that you create your project create page. A, you Maybe need to you have Ravelry your, presence. You know, your time frame. Yes. Have you tested it before? Right. Just a simple thing like that. And I think that's what you should do. You do it on a Google Doc. And where am I going to send that? You don't send it. You create it and it's oh, a so link a on your post. Gotcha. It's a link that they send to you. Gotcha. They fill it, they fill it out and they send it to you. And then you can post Maybe them and decide. Help me out with that. Yeah. Since I'm not techie. <laughs> creating a document I you're giving you. me more things to do sometimes the technology <laughs> not is just too much <laughs> you know i work with a teacher at school very nice guy he's probably he's in his 40s i would say but he's not techie his reputation for not being techie and the it person is like oh, this is no and poor guy so in 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 school the kids are on their ipads you know so you got to get them on their ipads and it's always a problem it's like i don't know why this isn't working it's so funny like, and I feel like I know more, which is... That's crazy. And he's yeah. the IT guy? No, he's not. He's the teacher. He oh, teacher. They, he's known. He's not. And I hate to say it, but God forbid anyone ever sees this. But he's, you know... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't, and that's... And you know of. what? That's fine. His job is to teach. His job is not to know necessarily the latest technology. Like, they came into... They came in one morning. The guy came in. He updated the smart board. And he left. Oh, wow. And then he had a problem with the smart board. He couldn't do certain things, you know. So it's like Did they come in, they out? do it. Well, I, I don't use the smart board. That's not <laughs> I was say, wow. I'm not yeah. starting to touch the smart board. <laughs> but uh, the, so anyway, luckily, the guy, he saw the guy in the hall and um, he called him in. He said, listen, I can't get, he couldn't get things to go off the screen. It's just very funny. Very funny. Everything's technology nowadays. It really is. Everything. It's technology, and the kids know more than you do. So the funny thing—I know. I just need I to bring my kids. Fifth grade. In. When I was in fifth grade, they they would say, you know, they uh, just thought my kids have no oh, patience. You got to do me. this. You got to do that. You have to do the other thing. And they're always right too. It's funny. Who is it who says? I listen to a podcast, and they say, "Ask your um." They, listen, they say, "Ask your nine-year-old. They'll tell you how to do it." <laughs> but that's literally always the case. Exactly. Your kids know everything. They know how to do everything. So. I'm laughing because you said, you know, I hope no one is listening, like the teachers or whatever. Right. Not that they right, would be. Right. But thank you for all the kind comments that you all left last week. Uh, I do want to share that I definitely told my future daughter-in-law <laughs> that I did mention it on the podcast. And I love her. And just because she said oh, she yeah, doesn't yeah. want to knit hoppa doesn't mean that I, I mean, I'm personally... You know, I'm not offended. I was, it was just a little crush. Uh, it was something that I you hoped I could a, do. A little crush. Yes. Little crush. It was a personal crush. It wasn't uh, anything further than that. So right. if I gave the impression that maybe I was something more, <laughs> it was not the case. And uh, someone said, you know, pro tip, you know, don't put it on, you know, don't uh, mention your daughter in law in a recording. Like, I mean, my daughter also didn't want the hook either. Oh, you, did you? Tell I said that, that last week. Oh, did you say? Yeah, that I did. So it was a crush all, all around. I told Dinah that her son is going to want the hookah. Zach, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I didn't ask him this weekend. I was probably like, will. he probably will. Still too sore, but anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. You don't need to know if he doesn't want it now. No, he's not even dating. Take one. I, I just need him to graduate. Take a pair at a time. <laughs> Let him just graduate. Um, so those into... are your FOs. I have no FOs except for Audrey's sweater. Um, and then um, my whips, right? We were talking yeah. about whips. Whip it out. Okay. Well, really, again, hold on. Give me one second. Balancing act. Amy, that's cute. That's a good idea, balancing, balancing act. act. That's cute. I like that. What Maybe. Oops, Someone said diamonds in the sky, which was cute, yeah. but I was thinking... I don't I think know. you like balancing um, better. I, okay. Just because of the, I keep pulling yeah. out the world. Since this is out, I'll show it to you. It is on the, in the show notes. It's my Brooklyn Raglan. I know Laura had on her Instagram page. She's on the sleeve. I think she's on her last sleeve. Or she has one more sleeve to to knit. That's great. Look at how wrinkled it is. I have, you know, 
this much done in the in the body. It looks great. And I need this is what I should have been knitting during the Zoom last week. This is what I should knitting have been in knitting. the round. Not not a sleeve. Yes. <laughs> you know. But look how wrinkled it is. Sorry that it's so wrinkled, guys. I should have given it some steam. Show it closer. Tell them what you use. I use the um hedgehog tweedy DK, um, which has remnants in it that give it the tweed look. And this is the light gray. It also comes in noir, which is the black with the tweed specks as well. This would look very nice in the gambit. Yes. I don't know if anyone ever knit the gambit. I knit the gambit for Lucy, my granddaughter. And I used, I think I knit the smaller size. And I stopped, made it shorter, obviously, because she's, at the time she was like four, you know. And it's such a, such a nice knit. It really is a lovely knit. I mean, it's got the, the one cable detail on one side. Just very nice. It's a very nice knit, a well written pattern. I was thinking the jewel button would be closure nice. would be adorable as a button yes, in there. That would be lovely. The stud? Yeah, and that's what I was using for Lucy, right? Yeah. When I was showing well, it. Did you actually use it for the top? Well, since I haven't seen it on her, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I haven't really worn mine <laughs> I've either. I've never I seen it. wearing it. Yeah, you have the gambit too. Yeah. Anyway, but Tweety DK, well, as well as the Seventh Floor DK. Oh, we still haven't mentioned all the seventh floor DK. We we, to... We'll show that next week. Okay, We've next got week. in a big shipment of Tweety D Tweety. We DK mentioned it last week, floor. but we didn't really go in depth. And that's so that's one. It's not languishing. It will not be languishing because I want to wear this. But it's just that there's a lot going on right now with the knit along starting up and you know, it's winter time. <laughs> Tis the season. Tis the season. Do you have any whips done? Uh, yes. So I will share my Frankie sweater. I knit this Did a little bit. Did you get bit. to work on it? I mean, in the car a little bit. I wasn't really knitting in the car this time. I don't know why. I can't um, knit in the car. I get nauseous. We were on the phone for some reason. Talking, talking driving, yeah, driving yeah, and knitting sometimes. is just too much. Uh, but this is my Frankie. I put in a little progress keeper. I probably doubled my like length since we went some progress keepers. This is the knitting face progress keeper. But here it is. Actually, I guess it is fairly it's nice. Kind of getting there. I would like that sweater. I'm loving it. Mm. It's it's, a, it's different. You know, the the fiber is different. Yes, it's, I like it's, the it's a little alpaca. bit different, which is nice. Yes, we should sweater a little different look. So I'm just moseying on. I'm pretty much on Easy Street, so I'm excited about that. I continue and continuing and as is Dinah with the Z wig. So many project bags. I have a basket for my project bag. <laughs> <laughs> Diana travels with project bags and a basket. Uh, my Z Wag, I did since we last spoke, nothing much. I transitioned into. Am I, oh, I'm farther along than I thought I was. What am I up to? I'm up to the darkest color. Oh, look at that. I'm on I'm on the uh, my last. I'm thinking I'm down here, Diana. Ah. Oh, so that's positive. Um, I'm on my last transitioning into my darkest color right there on my second We're triangle. at exactly the same spot. Is that right? Exactly. Uh, and I just, I'm ready to begin this this pattern right now using this color and the darker color, which is. Should I bother showing mine? Right here. I night, did not knit on night this. from from Kokan. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So oh, hopefully this. this I should get done this week. This I should get done this week. Total so that next week I can work on the join. Yeah, I want nice it to month. be at the join well, for November 1st. So did I, but you just you can't. You can't do everything. <laughs> so that's the Z-Wag. How funny is that the world's in the same row? <laughs> it's not like we talked about it either. No. I, haven't I didn't even pick up my knitting. I am going to be casting on another, uh, mu what's it called, Muscle Bear Cat? Yes. Because I found this great shade of green that I had in my stash, Dinah. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. I'm going with my jacket. There my you go. Coat, right. This is the Stunning. one I should have done first. So someone at school, I put on my my Musselberg hat the other day, and they said, "Oh, that's such a nice hat. You should sell them." I said, "Please." I'm <laughs> you fingering can pay me, with yarn. You could pay me two hundred dollars for this hat. It's yeah, basically a, a double, double hat. hat. I said you could pay me two hundred dollars. I'd maybe be making five dollars an hour. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. I said that's not going to work. That looks like a hat. But not really. Okay, I have my two by two, which I worked on. So we you did. So that's another one you could work on that one. Um, it's funny because we were with Isaac this yes, weekend. Yes, 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 yes. Did you have him try it on? 
No, because it wasn't, you know, I was like up to here. Mm-hmm. It was like knitting it while we were yeah, together, right, right, whatever, right, right, walking. Right, right. I didn't get very far. But P.S. Ellis brings the hat, and he's wearing Isaac's hat. Oh, he's wearing Isaac's hat. And did fight. Isaac realize that it was his hat? It just came out. And told oh, me. you did. I'm like, Isaac, I'm knitting you a new hat. I didn't want to ruin it by cutting it shorter. Right, right, right. right. And he's like, I really like the way that one fit. I felt so badly. He did say <laughs> yes. Well, what did, so, if he liked the way it fit, why was it a brown one? Because it was too long. Remember? So what did he like about the fit? He said that it, it had a good fit around his head. The circumference. I guess. Oh, okay. Well, you're doing the same thing. You're just making it shorter. Same That's exact number of stitches, right? I mean, I'm sure it'll stretch out. That'll but, be oh, my goodness. That is so funny. It was mortifying. <laughs> Ellis, he couldn't bring any other hat. You know what I wanted to make for the girls for um which again, another thing, I just need some more hands. The you know the sea glass sweater? Yeah. They have it. Yeah. Yes. I would love to make the girls sea glass. And the only reason I haven't even you know, I could probably have yarn at home. I could just go through and do something, but I don't know what color their winter coats are. But does it really make a difference? Sure it does. I mean, you want it to coordinate. I mean, the main color for it, too, the ribbing. The ribbing. I would like to do the sea glass hat. There you go. You know, you could just take, you know what? You could just take a yarn. It's all striping yarn. I could take, you know what? I could take a spin cycle, for goodness sake. Make it easy on yourself. Right, exactly. One that's very stripey, anyway. I will make that sea glass sweater one day. That intrigues me, that sweater. But now, I think there are other ways that I can do it that I wouldn't have changing. I, I can't change every row. I can't do it. It's not even... Necessarily, it wasn't the ends thing. It was just what color am I using? It, just, it was just too much for me. It's too much decision making. I mean, mine I is still sitting exactly the way it was, and then just I love my palette. yeah. But there are ways around it now. I think they modified a little bit. I'd have to cut and woven. No, ends. forget. I'd How far did you do? Yeah, almost the yoke. Oh, you did the whole yoke. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I don't want my hair so frizzy. What's with this weather? It's, like it's warm out. today. It was warmer today. Yeah. I did one. Hold this was my one accomplishment. I did one. You got a lot done on my open. I'm only down here. I I'm did probably get, down here. I'm loving this. It's lovely, isn't it? This is like mush. This is an oh, um. This is the opa shawl. It really doesn't take that long to knit it. Well. I mean, when you get your you you have well no you you have more stitches <laughs> on it, but it's not, it's not that bad. Huh? <laughs> you have to get into a you get into a rhythm and it goes fairly quickly. Can you tell I had I brought in the new dye lot? Dye lot of what? Remember, I had to order yarn. Oh, you can't see the difference. Let me I'm see. Hold it up. Let me see. It's actually only Diana and I. Off. When we had the kits, we had to give up our. I, we had. Oh, I do see the difference. Do you? Let me see. I don't know. Maybe it could be in the picture. No, no. It's probably going from here to there. That's why I see it. Um, we only had to give up. We had to give top. up. We the sacrifices we make. We gave up our yarn to a customer. <laughs> So we were short a skein of that light gray. That's right. The ash. So I'm dealing, we're dealing, not just me. I haven't gotten there We yet. are dealing with the dye lot, the off dye lot. But that doesn't make okay. a difference on that. It doesn't make a difference. I'm trying to think. So how do you wear this? I guess this way. You have to finish it all. The how long many? way goes. Well, let me count. And here she goes. with it. It's like piano keys. It does. I love it. Even Alice loves it. He does. Huh? Yes. And he felt it, and it really does feel like cashmere. He's like addicted to feel. Is he really? Yeah, I'm surprised he's letting me knit Letho and Forge, but go figure. He just doesn't want it to shed. Isn't it gorgeous? I love the shape. So this is designed by Maxim, sir. Um, it's called Opus. Opus. You, when I type in Opus on Ravelry, doesn't come up. <clears throat> no, I put an Opus shawl and exactly. it came up, but he doesn't call it Opus shawl. It's Titled Opus. Yeah. But there is a link in the Why show notes below. I don't Why? know. Why is that? I don't know, but I just want to tell the viewers. Right, in case because the, the link it. is down below. Right. But mm. if you don't use the link and you're searching it on Ravelry, type in mm. Opus Shawl and right. it'll come up. Mm. Yummy. I have mine, I but this. I haven't done anything on it, so I'm not showing it to you. I feel like this is something Zach would also like. Yeah, Zach would like that. Yeah. He's a, he's a man. He's a, he's a, um, he's knitworthy. No, no. So well, he's get where. I'm not saying no, he's not. Right. I'm just saying he's a um, man of the wall. Yeah. Your son. There's another word for that, and I can't think of what it is. So if anyone knows what it is, you can um, tell me. What else? Hold I don't on. think you put lace and fade boxy by Holy up. There, no, right? I didn't. I didn't. Did you work on this? You know what? I finished. 
I didn't really. I did, but I didn't. I finished the stripe, and I'm actually, oh, this is actually good to show because I'm trying to determine how long I want it to be. And so I'm at the point where I'm trying to figure out whether or not I should extend and do more rows in this color. Why do you think then? Because oh, it's, because a it's short shorter. Boxing. You want, mm -hmm. Well, then you should add another little piece. Right? right. But there's quite a bit of yarn, so I won't have a problem with yeah, running definitely out. you'll have plenty of yarn. Right. right. I just don't want it to be wider than this stripe, and I need to figure so out. So now some math is involved. Yes. How without the without changing anything, how wide is each stripe? Don't count the mohair, but count the other stripe. Right. It's about twenty. I mean, this the first one I did extend up here, and this is about twenty-four rounds. So I'm just wondering if I should keep it at twenty-four. How many does she, you don't have to tell me. I mean, she does whatever. Don't don't. Uh, it's by inches. inches. Yeah. She she doesn't tell you rounds. No, I think she tells you by oh, the she number does, of inches. The number of inches. Okay. I don't mm -hmm. even remember. Whatever. You're just, but I'm just, you know, winging it. Now, the there, there's no increases or decreases. No, in that, straight down. Oh, so that's another one you can But do. I'm loving this color. Love as it that gets color. darker. Yeah. Love, yeah. love, love that. So that is my lace and fade boxy. And I don't think this is in the show notes, but it's designed. It's in last week's show notes. <laughs> designed by Hohi Locatelli. <laughs> Go to last week's show notes. Yes. I cast on, it's not really a new cast on, but um, we had this idea, but I just never did anything to do the bucket hat from last year in Alpine in the fur. So I cast it on. Um, I will cute. say, again, I cast it on twice. I did it the first time and it was too wide. And it was, and I knew that was going to happen. I said, let me just do it the way it's supposed to be and then try it on and it was too wide. So I downsized it and this is the brim still. So. I have not gotten any fur. It feels so good, guys. Yeah. It would look nice to have a fur bucket hat, wouldn't it? Faux okay. fur. Faux, well, yeah, faux fur. So anyway, so that is what I am working She's on She's working on. We're all excited. Changing the numbers on that. Anyway, so I'm doing that. And the other thing I cast on, you know, Donna, I hope it's weird. Now, where did Jody I is saying that she tells inches for the lace and fade. Yes, you had done it, right, Jody? Oh, is that right? Yeah, I think she knitted it with Monica. She had a beautiful kit okay. from Divine Line. I'm just looking to see where my, um, it's not in here. No. Can it and more like fade? Nancy, what is your question? Okay. Can it, can it move like a fade? I'm not sure what, or I'm not sure what the question is. Is the opus difficult? The opus isn't difficult. It's mosaic. It's mosaic knitting. It's knit and slip. That's all it is. The hardest thing that might happen to you is that you might slip with the yarn and well, you back have to watch your front. you know you have to watch your edges because you know there you know there's a pattern so there are increases make ones and all that stuff and don't do what I did which is oh I can't find my uh, <laughs> Sabrina is asking with all your whips you don't have anxiety the only anxiety I have is that I have nothing to really show like monumental display. I don't think I put my lesso I don't know where it is. I cast mine on. I could show it to you. Yeah, I can't find it. This is the beginning of my swatch. I didn't get very far. Here it is. Here it is. That's it's done in the brioche, oh, which is swatch. swatch. And I brought. I wanted. I, I didn't bring. I wanted to bring. I'm so silly. I wanted to bring the swatch. Can you see it? It's black. This is what my husband picked. Black. Oh, with gold leaf. I know the whole jacket is going to be in black. Oh. Um. The gold leaf, I can go get it. I'll show you the colors. And I'm trying to decide whether or not I should put gold leaf down the back, which is what I want because since I'm knitting the same size as him, I want to be able to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a little selfish. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't bring one. Where did I put those swatches? I don't remember. And I wanted to show you the swatches. I did the brioche swatch flat, and I did the uh, stockinette flat because the sweater is not knitting around. And I did block them, and uh, they came out nicely. And I did cast on in the round my first cuff, and I did maybe about that much or so. And I'm on a. I use my mini twist shorty, my twist shorty, nice. and and I'm using that. I so, will say it's yeah. There you go. These That's not too bad. So where do you want to put the dark? So I'm thinking gold leaf should be the motif, the jacket in the back, right? is the diamond motif. And I'm thinking, so now this is the new gray. It's limited edition. It's the Rhinebeck um, colorway from Hudson and West. I think it's called Smoke. Uh, actually, I could tell you for sure. Is it called Smoke? 
So it's a different gray. It's in between ash and charcoal, which is lovely. And I'm just trying to decide which way I want to do it. I know he would prefer, he would probably feel more comfortable if the gray was down the back. But I'm thinking with the gray going down the back? he probably would feel more comfortable with that. Well, you're going to ask him or are you just going to decide? I think I'm deciding. I think I ask him too much. <laughs> What do you guys think? I'm afraid that he's going to say the other way. Match your walls. Yeah, the color matches the walls. You think yeah, I like this similar. color? <laughs> my favorite. This is like my wheelhouse right here. It is. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking the gold down the back and then the piping in the gray because this will be around the front. That's how I'm going to what do it. What piping in the gray? Because when this comes around front and you're wearing, whoops. Are you talking about the... Uh, I'm going to have the dots and the gold leaf and the wealth in the gray. Yeah, I think that's yeah. As opposed right. to a gold leaf right, wealth I would, yeah, I agree and the dots that. in the gray. I agree with that. I agree with that. Gold leaf down the back. Thanks, Gail. I think I'll go with that. <laughs> so all green with the I love that. This is my favorite jacket. Okay. So anyway, that that's all it. I have. That that's is it. it. That's all I've done. My the beginning of my sleeve. We're looking forward to our Zoom tomorrow evening, our first Zoom. Yes. Um, and uh, you know, we would yeah, we were discussing that there's a lot to talk about in the sweater. I think some people, not some people, I mean people in general are intimidated, you know, when it's a pattern that has a lot of pages, a lot of um different techniques and stuff. Especially if you haven't done the techniques before. But we're going to go slow, mm. and everyone's going to knit at their own pace. Right. It doesn't matter if one person gets further ahead. It's as long as you are successful and you're able to knit. Um, I love them down under. Look at that. Knit at your own pace and just have success with your knitting. Yeah. I think that's, well, you know, you do you. Mm -hmm. That's what counts. Mm -hmm. Should we share what's new in the shop? I think we should. Okay. We have two new kits. Uh we're going to start with Caitlin Hunter's. How do you say it? Halo? Halo. Halo? Maybe Halo. What is the Zoom time for tomorrow? The Zoom time tomorrow is 7, but it's only for the people who, um, for those who signed up for the Zoom. So it's not an open Zoom, although we did have our Zoom that night last week, and that was a lot of fun. So thank you and a shout out to all who joined. Um, this is a new design that dropped last week. It's designed in Cozy Posies Merino Linen, paired with mohair. We made it with Moondrake's Merino Linen, and we also did it with Just a four-ply fingering. fingering weight paired with um, mohair. So we have two options to share with you. And what's it called, Hello? Yes. H-A-L-U. H-A-L-U. We have the kit sized up through size four. The recommended ease is one to 10 inches. The finished bus circumference on the fourth size is 44.75 inches. Now in the yardage of the yarn, you have, in the merino linen anyway, you have almost, um, what's 393 times four? Well, it'd be 400, so almost 1,600, 1600. So 15, 15 something. something. Yeah. So if you choose a kit that has merino linen, you can go up to the fifth size. However, you would need an additional skein of mohair, and that would require you to leave a note or a comment in the checkout box if you do decide to do that. We're going to show you the colors. They're beautiful. A lot of you had messaged. No, you don't have to. Is there anyone, Amy, would you do me a favor and do a block? I don't know. Uh, I think so. Not sure. Someone, if someone blocked it last week too, it was yeah. I don't or know who it was, was but yeah. yeah. Okay, so our first colorway that I'm going to share is blue slate. It's a beautiful kind of like a denim blue paired with this beautiful shade of mohair. And when you take the single ply and you put it on top of the fingering weight, there you go. It's a beautiful combination. What size needle do they recommend to use? That's what I'm looking now. It is needles, threes and fives, ribbing on three and the body on five. Just about average on that, right? Yeah. 
Anyway, so that's that. So that's the first color. Are you going to show them this one? Don't? Yes, I'm, I'm glad that you pulled these two. So these are the fir these first two kits that we're showing you are the only two kits that have four ply merino, 100% superwash paired with a mohair. Uh, this next colorway is mauve. Again, a four ply merino paired with mohair. Very pretty. I think is your jam. It's it's a very pretty shade of pink. Uh, the rest of the kits are done in merino linen. And boy, this one is a bright one. This one is called Creamsicle with Mysteriously Peachy Peach. It is so fun. So that's, that's a great color. Yeah, that that's is a, a fun, great happy color. color. Yeah, it's it's getting blown out, but because probably because it's like oh, an it's acid color, blown. it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's very blown out. Uh, this next colorway, I think, are the rest fairly neutral? Yeah. The next, uh, the rest of the colors are really neutral. This is oatmeal, merino linen. Oh, this and is not too paired. neutral. It's not too neutral. It's paired with no hair. Do you want to show some here? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. This is toffee paired with pumpkin spice. Did you do that the oatmeal? Gorgeous. You did I the oatmeal. Did. How gorgeous is that? I know the peach is insane. The peach is insane, right? It's lovely. Lovely. One of my favorite colors coming up. <laughs> you show that one. <laughs> Next one is light gray, and it's a very light gray. And we pair that with Bichet Bouche. Light gray. The next, the final Gorgeous. kit is the truffle merino linen from Moon Drake, right? There's one more. There's one more? Okay. This one is. Did I get okay? And and that again is with the brown mohair. That's gorgeous. It's that a very brown? rich brown. Very rich. Lovely. Lovely color. This one over here? Yes. One. Which one did I show? The sand. Which that one. I'm sorry, one? the one on the right. I apologize. It's okay. There we go. Okay. Last but not least is sand. And it's like an off white. And we paired that with a pretty shade of mohair from Santa's one. So there you have it. The kits for Halo designed by Boyland Networks. It's very pretty. It looks like it has the same start as the EZB. It does. Uh, although you have lace and bobbles in the yoke. And, and she it's actually the incorporates, the yes, she mm -hmm. incorporates it down at the bottom. So very, very nice. pretty. Very nice. Yeah. Pretty design. Pretty sweater. The brown is lovely. Brown yes. is lovely, isn't, isn't it? Gorgeous. Yes. You're a brown person like me. There you go, Dana. You talk about this one. Um, this is a new pattern that just came out. It's called Quiet Thistle. I don't know who the author of the pattern is. Do you remember? Yes. Uh, so, um, that I don't remember. Hold on. I put it on. It uses... Um, on me. Now, did they use Wilder in this? She used Wilder, and there were two skeins of... Dyed in the wool, two yes. different colors, one skein each. Um, you don't need to use the Wilder if you don't want to. Um, other people used um, another sport where you We made kits up with both ways, so you can choose which one you want. I think it's really just a matter of which colorway you like, quite frankly. Um, but we're going to show you kits for this. It requires two skeins of dyed in the wool, one in each color, and two skeins of what would be, I guess, say the oatmeal in this one, your main color, right? Yeah. And so let's show you kits. You the designer is Stephanie Lotvin. For quiet thicket, it's an over-the-head cowl. Probably, the, what do you call that? Like asymmetrical. It's yeah, but I think this one is a little wider it's, in the back. Right, it's a little wider, it's more deeper. shawlish. They were saying. Um, the first colorway we're going to show you is very similar to what if you're featured looking here. at. What's featured in it uses the light gray wilder, and it uses nostalgia and um, melancholia. Beautiful, and that's very similar to what's in that. Uh, thing now, of course, anytime you use the dye in the wool from batch to batch, they vary. So, this um, is very, I mean, it's almost identical to correct. the original design, correct? So, anyway, but that's that's that that's one kit. We've got about, I think we have 13 kits because it was so much fun making. <laughs> it's like a colorway we for everyone. Stop. So, I'm going to show maybe what I should show first, Dinah, is the wilder kit. Sure, let's get wilder out this. of the way, yes, and this then we'll wilder. do wilder. Okay, you show them that. This I'm is the dark gray and wilder, although it does tend to look like the taupey brown. And then mm -hmm. we love this combo. This is paired with every rose and afternoon delight. Very pretty. And again, this is the same color that Dinah just showed you. It's called dark gray, which is like a taupey kind of a color. And we paired this one with uh, 
Devilish Grin and Sunset Strip. This is fabulous. Look at that one. And again, all the photos are on the website, so they really photograph very nicely, so you can take a look at that. And it takes the four skeins. Yep. So I think there were two different price points because um, one is we with the weld. Right, right. Yeah. We use weld. So yeah, here are the ones with weld. This is a lovely one. This one uses uh, the colorway fawn in weld. I think this is Pam's favorite. <laughs> and um, it's got Stay Ready and Grumpy Birds. Look at that. Let me come closer because it That's is so gorgeous. neutral. Can you see that, guys? How pretty is that? Very soft, but yeah. gorgeous. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Um, so that's another one of the options. I don't know. I like a lot of them, Diana. This one uses, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do one with black. I meant to go back and get the black and I forgot. This one uses Midnight, which is the Deep Navy in the Weld. And it is paired with Rosy Maple and Wallflower. Here, let's give it one. Do this one. That's Rose. gorgeous. This is Wallflower over here, the one on the inside. And that's the Rosy Maple. Pink. How pretty is that, That's guys? a lovely palette. Yeah. yeah, it looks very pretty with them. Yeah. Is that Midnight or Raven? Yes, it's Midnight. Oh, I think I put Raven on there. Oh, did you? Yes. No, we okay. didn't. I wanted to use Raven and I forgot it. We didn't make any kits with Raven. Okay. We should, though. I will. I need to update that. So the kit is actually done not in Raven, but in Midnight. midnight. In Midnight. Yeah. Which is a dark navy. This one is lovely. This uses the ash gray, the light gray. This is the last skein we have of Neverwhere. Is that right? Yes. And it's Neverwhere so with Valley Girl. Look at this, guys. Look at this. How fabulous is that? Ah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So anyway, that's that kit. Let's see what else do we have here. What else do we have? This is a pretty one. This, I like this one. I, I could consider doing this one because the lake is like a denim color. The lake is like a denim -y blue. Right? Beautiful. Can I help with this one? I'm going to help you. Uh, yep. And uh, it is with Ranunculus and Bruised Ego. How gorgeous is that? Look at that together. Oh, very love pretty. It. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> okay. I'm getting there. Hey, Diana, you show We're getting one. there. You show that one. I'm going to grab some more. Okay. This one here is called Gold Leaf. And one of my favorite colors, of course. And then we have that paired with Rusted Rainbow as well as End of Summer. So pretty. Next up, Barn Red, another wonderful shade. And we have that paired with Bruised Ego and Lapis. Very pretty. Love this next one. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorites, yes. too. So is that one in your hand. Yes, that's it is. one of my favorites. Yes, this, this is, is this tobacco. Is. This is gorgeous. <laughs> this is tobacco. And we paired that with Miss Me. We have so much fun putting these together. It's so funny. And shades of Earth. Shades of Earth. That is gorgeous. I could really see that one. It's so earthy. Mm. Love, love, love it. This. Gorgeous. This might have, this probably is the favorite in, for yeah, me. For you. Yeah. Cabernet. Beautiful, like, wine color. And then we have, what's in your hand? Deep Bump and Truth Bump. Look at how gorgeous that is. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very, very Sabrina pretty. says she likes the first one. That was like the original. The, one, the original yes. one. Yep, yep, yep. That she is did. Yeah, it's beautiful. Does she start top down? I would think so. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I'll tell you. I'll I'll tell you in a second. You show them this. I'll look it up for you. Uh, is this the last one? No. One oh, more. We have two more guys. No. Um, we have two more. No. One more. One more. Okay. One more. Charcoal. Because we can't forget charcoal. And then there's pick your poison. And we paired that with Narcissus. Now, if there's some, a combination, you know, if you like two colors and we didn't oh, create course. the kit that you want or three, you know, three colors and you want to mix and match, let us know. If we can do it, we'd be happy to. It is, oops, I, excuse me. Last but not least, this one is very soft. This is uh, kind of pastel -y. This is Dusk by Hudson and West. And if we haven't told you, um, the the weld is a sport weight yarn. It's 26 stitches to four inches. 
It's got 70% uh, merino wool and 30% Corey Dale. And this is the castle with uh, close wool. Gorgeous. Very pretty. Very right? soft. And it is, for all those inquiring, it is top down. It's in the round. It is worked. It is um, stranded. Quiet. It's stranded color work. Quiet thicket. Yep, quite thicket. Quiet thicket. If you're looking it up on the website, if you're looking to download the pattern and you'd stash yarn, Quiet Thicket, designed by Stephanie Lotkin. You can get the pattern for 60% off until November 6th. Oh, Caitlin's pattern is also on sale is until right? November 3rd. Right. I think 15% off as well, the Halo. Right, this is 60% off. That's a lot. That's a lot. 60%. Hop on. So even if you're not sure, just go get the pen. <laughs> so always good. have it. That's a great price. Absolutely. Um, and she also has, by the way, she mentions three other patterns that are also 60% off until October 31st. Um, and that's it. Yep. Top down. Seamless. Charts and written directions. And so on and so forth. And she has two sizes, child and adult. Oh, interesting. There you go. That's cute. Yeah, that could be cute for a kid, right? Yeah. That's nice for a child because, you know, scarves, they're going to, you know, they're going to like choke themselves them. with and lose them. Well, they could lose this too, but. I right, love the. Right over the head. It's like a fern. I like the, the vine. It's yeah, the top. Across. But if you look when she wears it, there's like a stripe, stripe. thing there too. There's three so, different motifs. It's correct. very pretty. It's very pretty, yeah. It really is. I wonder if she's got another picture. Oh, here she does. Here's a, look at that. That's a better picture. Show them that one. Go on Ravelry, you'll see all the different uh look at that. The different ways. She's got the stripes, then she's got like the fern looking things, and then the it's almost like florally. Yeah. Ferns and then flowers underneath. It's very like pretty. That. It's very pretty. So that is quiet thistle. And that's that's it for kids. That's it for oh, kids. Sorry, Jane. That's I need okay. to throw it at you. No problem. We have two um new and shop. Two new and shop. We got the yellow twist shorties. Uh, we got the box late today, so therefore they didn't go out today. I was hoping that they would arrive a little Could earlier. Could they order on the website? You can order on the website. Again, if um, this batch, I think I had one or a well, couple left. Right. And if I don't, just I'll so have you, it in a couple of days. So you know what this is. They're three-inch needles. and These are the large twist shorties. Right. The cord is six inches and eight inches. And it's three US, cables. What is it? Two sixes and one eight inch cable. It's US 9 to 11. I'll open it up and show you. It's got the tips. So this will work like your, like Pam was saying, she's using her twist shorties on the left L. She's using I'm the using blue this set. because it's, uh, what is it? The size six needle. Yeah. Uh, so this is sized from 9 to 11. And then you get Oops. all the wonderful goodies in the packet. Yeah. The extenders, you have oh, look, the twist cords. I know the little mine doesn't have that. The end caps? The end caps. Really? Mm -hmm. This kit doesn't have it. Hmm. I don't think it does. And then you have the tips, nine, ten, I think ten point five and eleven. So that's the yellow. This kit is the um now awesome. what this kit page. has, it's it needle size is four to eight, US four to eight, but this has a two inch tip and a three inch tip. Low with tips. the three cords, five, six, and eight inch cord. This one is less because it doesn't have the double tip. Right. That's why it's less. Mm -hmm. And um, it also has the little goodies with it as well in there, like the, the T pins and the twisty things and the markers and whatnot. So we got the blue in and we now have the yellow. Yes. Okay. Okay. So those will ship tomorrow. Um, what else? I don't know. I know we shared this on Instagram, but I'm not sure we shared with you on YouTube. I'm looking for the new one. But you can show new. them yet. This it's is a new color. Sure. This is a shawl pin by Jewel. Um, this is actually the Cordoba bezel ring closure. And this colorway is called Peter. And it's got nickel as the... Is it the same color? No. That is, this is pewter. That might be bark. So this is this closure. I'm not sure if you could see it, but there's a screw back here. So basically what you'd be doing is you'd be screwing each side to a different part of your shawl. And then this would be connected. It's That's got cute. a fun closure. Yeah. 
It does nothing, does it? It does. So if you want to connect, like, also wear it as, like, a jacket. I mean, on your Felix. Like, I don't wouldn't have buttons you, on Wouldn't my you feet. wear it? What do you mean? Wouldn't wear you wear it always closed? You'd wear it closed. But right. let's just say you wanted to have... You want to take it off. No, this would be perfect, for example, for my lepho. I don't have a button closure on my lepho. But let's just say I wanted it to stay closed. I could put this at the bottom, base of the yeah. V, and it would be, you know, I could put you three put of them, it, and right, it would right. be a closure. Mm-hmm. If I wanted to wear it closed. So this is the Cordoba ring closure. We should do a video on how you to like, wear these accessories. That's how, to wear it, how to wear it. How to wear it. How to wear it. This how is also the same, accessories. the same piece, but it's a different colorway. Yes. There's, there's, what is that called? What did you say that was called? The colorway? This one is pewter. That's bark. We have espresso. Espresso too. And black. Yeah. That's the three in one. We could show them that. This is a shawl pin. It's a stick pin, a shawl pin, and a shawl cup. Do I I have a shawl that I could show them? Do you have the square one, then? I have the square, and it also comes in round. So, of course, you have a stick pin, which is a wonderful closure. Can you bring my left up? Oh, I have it. Never mind. So I'll just demonstrate. For example, speaking of my left bell, it does not have buttons. So if you want to accessorize it and keep it closed for a cold day, you're going walking, you need it. You can just put the shawl pin right in the band, or I should say the stick pin, and then it's closed. You can use it with the square frame and do a a shawl pin with the square frame. Correct. It doesn't need to be just the stick yeah, pin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go like this and accessorize it. Oops. Push that some of it down for you. Like so. Mm-hmm. Kind of jewels it up, jazzes it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then for a shawl, I gave you this one. The shawl cuff would work like so. Wrap your shawl around. Here we go. Probably better with the try. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily need to do it with a crescent shawl, but let's just say. You can unsnap it, right? Yes. You unsnap. So now what we did is we snapped the leather piece and you go around your shawl. And then you snap it around again. Turn to the front. Yes. On the cup. And there's your shawl. This is so cool. That's so this, great, is this is three in one. Piece, the three in one. The three in one is a great accessory. That and looks it great. It stays on. So we have it in square. It's almost like a piece of jewelry when you're knitting. Totally. Yeah, I love it. That's what it is. So that we got it in the square. It also came, as you can see, this is the a round, round one. is new. Love yeah. the round. Um, that's also very pretty. It's a pewter. I believe the same three colors, espresso, Pewter, espresso and black. Exactly. And black right? so, so there's that. And then we have the pedestal okay, buttons. Okay. And we have the um, mid-century stud buttons, which we could show. Are they all in here then? Yes. So those are the jewel accessories. I think the gray and the black in the back. Oh. Okay. There are the Thank you. stud buttons. So what this has, it has a button and it has, a, it's a screw on right thing. It's a screw. What's that? This is that, I don't know. This is the called. mid-century? It's the actually, mid-century. Oh, no, it's, it's not, not a screw. A screw. It's, it's a, it's got like a ball, that a is, ball pin that right. pushes through. Right. I should show them how that one works. So this would work like a button. It's very, it's fun. They're a little tough in the beginning because the leather well, is you want it new. to be because yeah. otherwise it's going to be falling off you. I'll try and do it high. But it basically acts like a button. And Diana's going to fasten it with this in the back. The nice thing about this is sometimes you make things. Can I can't push it. I don't yeah. want to hurt you. No, it's okay. Um, is sometimes you make things and you don't want a button on it, but there are times when you might want a button. 
So like Diana can wear that and it's, it's fun. It's a removable button. It's a removable button. That's fabulous. Right. This I is, love that one. This one is that great. I should get that for some, this I, just is something fabulous. I have. It's the mid-century. that in gold? Stud button. No, I just, just it in only silver? in silver. Yeah. It, it, she was just starting and it's white brass and leather in the back. I'm trying to think what, what I need It's very that cool. For. I do need it for something. You could use, I would, could use it for the Felix because I didn't put buttons. I in. put buttons on my Felix, but there's something else that I, oh, oh you know what sure. I could, my, um, my sweater, that's the gold one that you made in pink uh, from uh, Marie Green. Yes. That's a cool. Foxtrot. My Foxtrot. I knew, Perfect. I needed for that. Perfect. Did I know what size is the cardigan you're wearing? Did you need to go up or down a size? I think she has sizes of 46. It's a medium. The fourth size. I know that because that's the size I'm making. <laughs> it's actually the size I'm making my husband as well. And it's right. going to be more fitted on him. Uh, right. I'm wearing it a little looser. So I love the Jewel products. Uh, the link is in, the link is down below in the show notes. I think what I did for the, um, because there's so many different accessories, I did a link for Jewel. So if you look up Jewel on the website, you'll see access to all the different um, products, and you could pick the one that you like if there's something that you like. And that's it. That's all we got. How's that for wrapping it up and summing it up in just one hour? One Was hour it just one seconds. hour? Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, that's, so funny. that's so too funny. funny. But anyway, um, yeah, two great kits, actually. I think these kits are lovely. Um, help Diana find a name for her hat. Yes, please. Um, Leave a, oh, my goodness. Beth is on. I loved your post today, Beth. That was adorable. Happy Halloween. Jewel products are very chic. I they agree. are. And they beautifully are. crafted. Yep. yep. So talented. Yes. She's amazing. Um, how do you spell Jewel? J-U-L. And a customer told us on the podcast, was it on the line for some reason? Did they say, for some reason, I think it was on Nick, Nick last said Jewel. Oh yes, Christmas. The Christmas tree. Is it, in, is it in Swedish? Swedish maybe. It's in another language. It was Very one cute. of those languages. Yep. Thank you. Are you, you well. shipping to me tomorrow? Yes, I um no, I'm not. Who's that? Yes, excuse me. Mary and I am. You got the eight you got this blue set. I have to call you. And your pom pom. Yes, I am shipping to you tomorrow. They're in. Thank you for your patience. Christmas in Norway. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Christmas in Christmas. Not Sweden. Did I yeah. say Christmas? Yeah, I think you did. Christmas, but I said Sweden. It's actually in Norway. All day I've been talking. My mind is thinking one thing and another <laughs> word is coming out of my mouth. I don't know what that's about, but in any event. So that is the story. That's a wrap. Yep. Happy Halloween. Pam's got to go see her grandchildren. You got to see the kiddos. Absolutely. <laughs> Wishing you a wonderful night. And we'll be back tomorrow on Zoom. Is this being recorded? It's recorded and you'll find it on YouTube. YouTube. And for those of you who didn't get a notification, you do need to subscribe to the knitting place. What are you talking about? Then? Uh, notification for what? That we're live. Oh, that we're live. Yes. yes. And yeah. sometimes you need to ch um, turn on notifications. Right. So if your settings are off, that could be why. Yeah. All right. That's it. Have a wonderful night. And thank you so much for tuning in. Bye, guys. Bye. Happy knitting.